everybody, you missed everybody on YouTube. You love everybody. Are you turning guys off? I might be, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna take a quiz on Seventeen.com. Seventeen is a magazine, which is kind of like a precursor to Cosmo, which lowers teenagers' self-esteem and really prepares them for a life of hating themselves and trying to fix themselves through makeup techniques. Let's do it, let's do it, let's, where is it? Wait, where's the quiz? A guy at school tells you he wants to go out on a date and you both exchange numbers. What happens next? You wait a few days to give him a call and ask him to hang out. You text him immediately to find out the details of the date. You wait for him to contact you with plans. I'm gonna say I text him immediately to find out the details of the date. I'm a busy person. I'm not being too aggressive. I'm just trying to schedule my life. Thank you. What's the one thing you always try to change about your boyfriends? <laughs> Everything. His clothes. Guys always need a little help with that. The amount of time he spends with his guy friends. His limited taste in music. His clothes. Most men just don't understand clothes and fashion because they weren't born with the part of the brain that lets them know what things look good on them and, and things like that. That's like a, a woman thing. A woman was born with that part of the brain. Which of these three movies is your favorite? Fast and the Furious, Hannah Montana, the movie, Twilight. <laughs> What do you usually wear to school? Remember, this is a quiz called, do you turn guys off? And one of the questions is, what do you usually wear to school? Okay, this is what America is. What's your worst habit? You're a total control freak. Buying shoes. Biting your nails. I'm going to say you're a total control freak, but I'm gonna replace the words control freak with the word bitch. Your cell phone rings. Oh no, that's not it. <laughs> oh my God, more questions, Jesus. You're trying out a new trend at school and a girl in your class tells you she's not into that trend. How do you feel? You get mad for 10 minutes and then get over it. She's crazy, totally wrong and you'll never talk to her again. No big deal, she's entitled to her opinion. If somebody says they don't like what you're doing without you asking them their opinion, I think that person is a total fucking cunt-faced bitch. Is this quiz done? Boo! Oh. Boo! Oh. Boo! Oh. Boo! Oh. Guys are trying to avoid you. Okay, well I didn't need a fucking internet quiz to tell me that. I already knew that. Boys like a little mystery from girls, but your constant texting, calling, and wanting to hang out with him just makes him want to see you less because he feels completely overwhelmed. I hate this, but also this is kind of true. <laughs> I can start 2014 being less aggressive, so guys, don't avoid me anymore. A way to do that is to suck my thoughts and opinions inside of myself. Never tell a guy how I actually feel or what I actually want. And then instead of communicating with that person, write it in a diary and stick it under my pillow. <laughs>